Ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey McAvoy speaking. I proudly present this stunning Aston Martin V8 Vantage that I have been commissioned to sell on behalf of one of my customers. The current owner has made the difficult decision to part with it due to a lack of time to properly enjoy it. He is genuinely heartbroken, but is looking forward to his cherished car finding a new loving owner. I am truly glad to give you the opportunity to own one of the last, finest pieces of British contemporary automotive engineering. This stupendous Aston Martin V8 Vantage was built in 2007, has covered little over 40,000 kilometers and comes with a full service history always performed at an Aston Martin dealership. Needless to say, it is barely run in. Both gentlemen who have owned this car so far are highly educated British citizens working in European institutions here in Brussels. This Aston Martin V8 Vantage has all the refinement that you would come to expect from a luxury sports car of the late 2000s. Its main feature is an all alloy 4.3 liter V8 engine with quad overhead camshafts and variable inlet camshaft timing. Featuring 4 valves per cylinder with multi-point sequential fuel injection, it also has a dry sump and the over-square configuration makes this a particularly high revving engine with maximum engine speed electronically limited to 7300 RPM. Soul to the man in the white shirt! But I haven't finished yet! This engineering masterpiece is mated to a 6-speed manual transmission an American thief's worst nightmare. This Aston Martin comes with useful amenities such as air conditioning, sat-nav, park assist, electrically adjustable heated seats, leather here, suite there, power mirrors, power windows, central locking, immobilizer and It even has the standardized ISOFIX child seat tether system on the passenger seat in case you want to drop your toddler off at daycare in style. If she says, no way are you getting a two-seater, what about our childling? Use this fact and blow her mind. She cannot say no anymore. You can't have a luxury sports car without a set of electronic gadgets, of course. However, being a refined gentleman's car, they are few and some even useful. This is not a Lambo, thankfully. Your main gadget is the radio consisting of a powerful surround sound system. In case you get accustomed to the 8-cylinder Sonata and need a change of soundtrack. A 6-CD charging system allows you to select your preloaded tunes at the touch of a button. For beginners, dynamic stability control, traction control and positive torque control are there to nurture you into the world of powerful sports cars. A bit like those little stabilizing wheels on your first bicycle. These driving aids help you lay down the 384 brake horsepower safely onto the tarmac, reducing, but not annihilating, risk of injury to yourself or others. Worry not advanced drivers, for you can fully silence them all at the press of a button. I uh, want... Uh, what is it? It's this thing. DSTC function off. Yes, thank you. These driving aids are well balanced and finely tuned so they don't hinder the driving experience too much. However, turning them off makes things far more interesting, empowering and fun. In my case, I definitely prefer the hands-on approach and like to be in full control. I can't stand being interrupted by a computer program. You can't control me. I'm uncontrollable and I like to live dangerously. I digress. And I'm joking of course. These driving aids are precious, especially on a rainy day. God knows we have a lot of these. Once you get moving, it is interesting to be able to slow down and sometimes even stop. Braking power is provided by ventilated and grooved discs all around, incorporating four piston fixed calipers. True racing car technology right there. It says a lot about what is to be expected of overall performance. 
The Certificate of Conformity states that a top speed of 280 km per hour is achievable, although I cannot vouch for that as we have speed traps growing like mushrooms here in Belgium. It is difficult to find a long enough stretch of road without a pothole in it along the way anyway. Were this Aston Martin my own, I would definitely have taken it to Spa-Francorchamps for you to show you what it can do. Sadly, it is not mine and I am highly respectful of other people's property, so we will have to make do with what we have, won't we? Belgian viewers will understand that the light stone chipping on the front bumper demonstrate absolutely normal road use. Apart from that, this Aston Martin V8 Vantage is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. No matter what angle you are looking at it from, this car has some truly sexy curves. There is no way that you could find this car unattractive. My partner, who knows I have a soft spot for Aston Martin, was teasing the other day, saying that it looks a little bit like a girl's car. Oh. <gasps> she said what? Now, now, hold your horses. This can be interpreted in many different ways. What can't be when a lady expresses anything? Did I mention that I like to live dangerously? I shall call out only two out of 684,392 possible interpretations. Either she wants me to buy it so she can borrow it on a daily basis, or she might feel threatened by that sexy thing lurking in the garage and want it out of here ASAP. After all, I did spend two days caressing it in the driveway, detailing it. I mean, I was detailing it. You have to admit that it is highly elegant and the design generally speaking is timeless. To sum it up we have curves all over the car and one tense line across the flanks. A masterfully played balancing act. Later generations of Aston Martins have arguably become more feminine all the while retaining the dual personality. Elegant on the outside and brutal under the bonnet. Just how we like them. The same cannot be said about the brand new Aston Martin AMR, however, which looks like it would steal your lunch money. A brute as much inside as out, or so it seems. This Aston Martin V8 Vantage, however, truly has two personalities. First of all, the highly educated diva in her evening dress. Her suave voice ordering a sophisticated cocktail in a Monagas casino. The lady in red, elegantly wafting about the room, with discreet, hungry eyes following her silky smooth hair. She is around when you drive with a sensible, law-abiding attitude. <coughs> it happens to us all every now and then. Burbling gently in traffic, pottering nimbly on country roads, pulling away so smoothly at the traffic lights. After one too many cocktails though, lo and behold, she starts whispering dirty things in your ear. get stuck in traffic in style. Send the driving aids into oblivion and she reveals her true potent nature. Experienced, deft hands are required to handle such power. Unfortunately, I was not given the chance to try out this main feature decently on the track, but I would strongly suggest that you do. I have a feeling that she might enjoy being shuffled around a little. It is good to drive a car that actually requires your attention, far from the distracting infotainment computers on wheels that we have nowadays. Either way, driving an Aston Martin V8 Vantage is a mind-blowing experience. I am highly grateful to have been given the opportunity to review this magnificent piece of British engineering. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank the careful owner of such beauty for putting his trust and faith in me. I am ever so grateful. When you press the engine start button, strangely, time stops. You hear and feel the engine come to life. You savor the moment, enjoy the sound and feel good all over. And you haven't even moved yet. Release the handbrake, slip it into first or even second gear and just burble away. What a start to a day! 
The most difficult thing to do with this car, believe it or not, is to get out of it and go about your day. But what a joy when the time comes to drive it again. So there you have it folks, my take on the Aston Martin V8 Vantage. I have tried it for you, I have showed you one who is well taken care of and is available for purchase at the time of this video's release. Grab it while you still can. It is an exquisitely refined piece of machinery priced in the vicinity of a brand new BMW 5 Series. So what's it going to be? A brand new but oh so boring soulless diesel powered heavy four door computer on wheels or a barely run in luxury sports car. If you have not made your mind up yet, best play it safe and go for the saloon. If on the other hand you are sold to its cause, this Aston Martin V8 Vantage awaits your inquiries. Forward them to the email address that you will find in the description and I will personally respond to your request. I truly wish I could keep this car for myself forever and ever more, but I have a mission and I must stay focused on delivering. I will be shattered to see it go and I don't even own it. At least I can say that I have lived the dream and driven a legend. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll be catching you all in the next video.